Quaggity is a channel with over 6 million subscribers here on YouTube who's currently most well known for being a Minecraft YouTuber and hanging out with other people in the Minecraft community, such as Dream, George Not Found, and Carl Jacobs. But only a few years ago, Quaggity was known for being more of a commentary channel and hanging out with other commentary channels. With some being respected people like King Annie, Axel, and Hoover, while others weren't so liked such as I'm Alex, Weast, and Wild Spartans. Along with his friendship group being different, his content was also different, with it being more edgy compared to his newer content. But a lot of his old commentary videos are starting to disappear from his channel. So which videos were deleted and why were they deleted? Well, let's talk about it. So today, we're discussing Quackity's deleted videos. But before we begin, I have nothing to say. Yeah, enjoy the video. All the videos I'm talking about in this section are either videos that were deleted from his commentary part of his channel, or some of his most recent content. There's not much of his recent content, so don't worry. Now I was able to find these videos in a few different ways. I set up a playlist where I add all the videos that I find. The first place I went to was unlistedvideos.com and found 5 videos. Not much, but a good start. Next I started looking at a bunch of re-upload channels. Thanks to this, I found 18 videos. Finally, I went to the Internet Archive to look at Quackity's channel to see if there's any extra videos I missed, and there were 4 videos, although only 3 videos got saved while the last video is known to exist, but no one archived it in time. But we'll get to that one later. The videos Quackity deleted are, I'm in debt, the Animal Jam raid is about to happen, pretending to be a mom on Facebook, the biggest raid is about to happen, the Animal Jam raid begins today, Fine Bros Expose, Guide to Internet Drama, Worst Instagram Account Ever, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Sucks, Jake Paul in a Nutshell, The Worst Q&A Ever, 200k Special, The Ultimate Gmod Roleplaying Experience, Call of Duty Sucks, Blackout, Red Dead Redemption 2 Sucks, Overwatch Sucks Part 2, Animal Jam Raid Announcement, The Biggest Raid Yet, Most Hated Person on Instagram, How to Be a Troll, Making Scammers Subscribe to PewDiePie, r slash Indian People Facebook with Tech Support Scammer, Tech Support Scammer Gives Life Advice, r slash Indian People Facebook with Tech Support Scammer, Trolling Tech Support Scammers Compilation, The Worst of Quackity HQ 2017, How Not to Respond to a Content Cop, and Discord Roleplay Competition with Jay Schlatt and Slimesicle. The only video from this list that wasn't a part of the commentary part of his channel, and instead was fairly recent, was the video titled Discord Roleplay Competition with Jay Schlatt and Slamsical. The video was not removed because Quackity wanted to be gone, but instead was removed due to a copyright claim. As of right now, the video is lost because the Internet Archive doesn't have the video, and I can't find a re-upload of the video. What I can find was one clip of the video and a reaction video someone made, but that's pretty much it. Now what about the other videos that were a part of the commentary related content? Why were these deleted? Well, as of right now, Quackity hasn't given a specific reason as to why these videos were deleted. Whether it's because the content is too different to his newer content, or the content was just too... <clears throat> edgy, no one really knows. Now there is one question I still have even after finding these videos. Why exactly did he switch his content? Now while yes we can sit here with theories on why each video was deleted, I think there's something more interesting to talk about. Which is why he moved to Minecraft. Clearly his commentary videos did very well on his channel, so why'd he stop? Well, according to Quackity on a live stream, he stated that switching content isn't anything new to him, and that he only makes content he wants to make. I think when it comes to changing up my content, I have never changed for anyone but myself. Does that make sense? I think I think for all the years that I've been making content for it, any changes that I've made to my content has always been for myself. Even on his private account, he states that he's much happier making Minecraft related content. So if he doesn't want to make commentary videos, he just doesn't. And if he wants to make Minecraft content, as long as he's happy, he does it. And if this is his real reason, then I don't blame him. 
As stated by Tom Dark in his video about Quackity, if you're constantly making pretty much the exact same video over and over and over again, at some point it's going to get boring and not be as fun as the first time you started making that content. Now while yes some people are happy with this answer, others have theories. That Quackity is a sellout. People started this theory since Quackity started making Minecraft content when Minecraft became popular again, but he sold out just to gain more money. Now while yes this doesn't sound impossible, to me I think people just miss the old Quackity. Simply just based on the comments on a re-upload of Quackity explaining why he switched to Minecraft content, many of Quackity's old audience clearly missed the old Quackity. And yes, I understand that seeing your favorite content creator switch from being an edgy commentary channel to a typical Minecraft channel can be upsetting, but that's just how YouTube sort of works. I know I keep mentioning Tom Dark in this video, but I think what he says here is just perfect for this part. Sometimes people change, who we like to watch on YouTube changes before our eyes, and if we don't change with them or change in the same direction, then that can definitely suck, it doesn't feel awesome. This has happened to me with content creators a few times, but it's not the end of the world and he didn't do anything wrong and he's not a bad guy. I don't even think he's a sellout. This idea that he just started doing this for money, like maybe it's possible, but if he's gonna say that he likes making his newer content now, he's having more fun on YouTube than ever before, then why not just take his word for it? People started thinking about this theory thanks to a video from The Beak on this topic. And again, wait, why did he make two videos about this again? Due to this, people got upset at The Beak on his Twitter account. On his tweet promoting his second video on the topic, he got over 600 quote tweets. To me, I understand why the Beak thinks this way, and who knows, maybe this was a factor in Quackity's decision to switch content. At the end of the day, from what we know, Quackity doesn't want to make commentary videos anymore simply because he just doesn't like making that content anymore. Was the money also a part of that decision? Probably. But whatever the true reason was, that doesn't explain why some of his old content is getting deleted. Maybe it's because his old type of content can be seen as <clears throat> offensive nowadays, or maybe he's just not proud of these videos anymore. At the end of the day, no one really knows. In total, Quackity has deleted 27 videos from his channel, with only one video being kinda lost since there's no re-upload of the video, and as of right now, it's only available for small clips and reaction videos. As for the other 26 videos, all of them have been found and re-uploaded to various different re-upload channels, are saved to the internet archive, or are just unlisted to Quackity's channel. If you want to watch any of these 23 videos, I'll leave a link to a playlist in the description. As for the last 3 videos, none have been re-uploaded to YouTube, so I'll also leave a link to the internet archive links for each video in the description. And well, that's it. But before I go, subscribe to Villager and Ferret, because... funny. And also subscribe to Andreas because I'm cool, I think. Anyways though, that's it. Thanks for watching, and this was Quackity's Deleted Videos. Subscribe to Andreas. Wait, didn't I already say that?